in the uh, Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 2, the first one anyway, this is question number 28. A system of equations is given below, and there it is. What is the solution to this system of equations? Now I'm going to talk about solving it two ways. In one, I'm going to use matrices in the calculator, and in the one I'm going to talk about now, I'm just going to show you how to do it by hand. I don't know if I'll follow it all the way out. It takes a little bit of time. Not too difficult, but the calculator may be the way to go about it. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, the uh, reality is I have to figure out a way to eliminate one of the three variables so that I can do a nice systems of equations. I'm going to try to get them to either be an xy, uh, a yz, or an xz. And in this case, I'm just going to eliminate x. It's really easy to eliminate them here. If I have x minus 4y plus 5z equals negative 13 over x plus y plus z equals negative 3, these cancel if I subtract. So then I'll do negative 4 minus 1, which gives me minus 5. And by the way, this is a gigantic subtract here. And then I have uh, 5 minus 1, which will give me 4z. And then if I subtract negative 13 minus negative 3, I end up getting negative 10. And I'm going to actually put this in a uh, highlighter real fast, because I'm trying to make a point about it. This is in highlighter, because we're going to use it later not the best highlighting job ever, but not terrible either. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is try to get rid of another set where I can get rid of x. So I'm going to make a comparison statement about these two, the first and the third set. So in this case, I'm going to do 2x plus y minus 3z equals negative 8. Now in order to make a comparison to eliminate x, I'm going to multiply this whole term by 2. So it'll be 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals negative 6. And all I'm doing is trying to figure out a way to get rid of the x's. So same thing here. These cancel 1 minus 2 because this is a subtraction. I'm going to do 1 minus 2 and it's going to give me negative 1y. And then I'll do negative 3 minus 2 which gives me negative 5z. And then I'm going to do negative 8 minus negative 6 and it's going to give me negative 2. Now, I'm going to highlight this one as well. These two that are highlighted are the ones I'm going to start using uh, as a system in order to make a comparison statement. So, and I forgot to put my y for this one, so I'm going to write it right on top. That's dangerous, isn't it? So, anyway, I have my negative 5y plus 4z is equal to negative 10 over my negative 1y plus or minus, I should say, not plus, minus, minus 5z is equal to negative 2. Now, in order to get rid of it, I'm going to multiply everything on the bottom by 5. So this times 5, that way the minus 5s will cancel. So this becomes minus 5y, uh, negative, and this will become negative 25z, or minus 25z, and then this will become negative 10. So these will cancel. 4 minus 25 is negative 29z, and then negative 10 minus negative 10 will give you 0. If you solve for z here, divide everything by negative 29, your z value is going to be 0. So all I did was go back in and plug in uh, is compare this term and this term that I did by eliminating the x's. Now I have a 0 that I can work with. Doesn't it look like it's going to be g if you look at the answers? All I have to do here is plug the z value that I found back into one of these equations. So I have negative 5, I'm going to write on the other problem, why not, plus 4 times 0 is equal to negative 10, and then I do negative 5y equals negative 10, cancel these out, or by dividing y equals 2, which is what it should be as of right here. And then I just plug these two terms back into any one of the ones at the top, and I'm going to choose x plus y plus z equals negative 3. So I'll get a uh, z value of 0 plus a y value of 2 plus x is equal to negative 3, and I end up with x plus 2 equals negative 3. Subtract 2 from both sides. So my x value is going to be negative 5. That's the way you do it by hand. It's pretty long, right? So let's uh, 
so essentially, you eliminate the x terms in two, and then in another one, or whatever term you want, and then make a comparison statement about these two, uh, plug in the values that you get into this one once you find one variable. Once you have two variables, plug it back into one of the original ones. It's long, right? Let's talk about how to do it in the calculator, much less lengthy. So. I'm going to bring the calculator up here really quickly, and here it is. What I'm going to do is use a matrix. So I'm going to go, first I'm going to make sure I don't write on it, and I'm going to go into the matrix section. So hit the second button, and then go into matrix. The first thing we need to do is edit one. We have to make it. And this is going to be a, I think a three by four. Yes, it's a 3x4. Uh, for a second, I thought maybe it's a 4x3, but usually it does um, the number of uh, rows by columns, but it is what it is. Anyway, all I'm going to do is for my numbers that I have in my first set here, so 2, and this is 1y, negative 3, and negative 8, I'm just going to plug them in as the values. So my first one, I'm going to hit 2 and enter. Then I'm going to put 1 there. That's the hard part. You do have to remember to put your 1 if it's just a y or an x or whatever. And the next one's going to be negative 3. And the last one in this row is going to be negative 8. Pretty simple. On down, I'm going to hit 1 because it's just x. Negative 4 for my next one. And don't forget that that minus goes into, becomes a negative when you do the matrix tile. Go to 5, and then negative 13. Hit enter. And then finally, 1 plus 1 plus 1. And then your final number of negative 3. Now once we get it, we can go out quit out back to the main menu if you want or just go back into the oops I got into some weird place there sorry uh, clear that out now I can go back into the matrix menu and I'm actually going to do math with them and I'm going to go down to the one that says RRF it should be B and I'm just going to hit enter RRF right there that's the one you're going to use to solve them and then I need to go figure out uh, tell them which one I want them to use so go back into the matrix menu uh, hit enter to pick that one that we just did and then it says enter and it gives me this result it says 1 0 0 negative 5 0 1 0 2 and you can read the rest of it what it essentially means is whatever variable is supposed to go first which in this case is X is this answer so X is equal to negative 5. The second variable that we're looking for would be a 1. I'm sorry, a 2. I don't know why I said a 1, because the 1's here, I guess. But it's supposed to be whatever the second one is. And the last one tells you what z's supposed to be, which is 0, which is exactly what we determined before. But I think RRF doing it as a matrix might be a lot easier on your brain, because simply because of the fact that it doesn't take forever to do and burn you out for the rest of the test. But whatever you want to do is fine, uh, so good luck.